Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video on Eri Tech Academy. Ethical leadership. So here I will discuss it. Remembering Ratan Tata, the noble businessman. The news article itself is saying that he was a noble businessman. He leaves behind a legacy of what? Legacy of humility, innovation, and social responsibility. You remember when I was talking about that ethical leadership provides you the foundation, provides you the direction about of all other ethical principles which we have discussed, the principles which should guide the business ethics. This is, they have, he, he lives behind the legacy of social responsibility, innovation and humility. Values, values will decide. Okay. In this article also, this article has been written by a former union cabinet minister, Ashwini Kumar. So what all he is talking about in this article, let's understand through his words and it will add a lot of value for, from our ethics point of view. So this article says, we know that he was born to a wealthy, powerful and a, a family which had already wealth, power and fame. Tata, Ratan Tata was born to that family. And he had a good heritage, everything was there. So this article is highlighting that still, even after that, Ratan Tata chose simplicity, leadership qualities. He chose understatement. He gave importance to dignity. He gave importance to decency. These were his life motives. Okay. And the entrepreneur in him and the entrepreneur which was there in, inside him, he sought the answers for a just social order in the recognition of merit, free enterprise, dignity of labor. So at workplace, he used to give importance to all these things. That dignity of labor should be there. Merit should be recognized. Free enterprises should be there. And then uh, a just social order has to be there. He had a rare courage to speak truth to power. So even though you are powerful, I will speak the truth. I'm not having any kind of fear from your power or your authority. And he had, even he had to fight for what is right. Ratan Tata also fought for right. Why? Because many times it has happened that... Uh, uh, this uh, Tata Nano industry case, You, if you come to West Bengal, there was a factory and then land was there, then some issue was there between the West Bengal government and the Tata group. So he fought for his right. He went to Supreme Court also to, for his uh, right. Okay. Rat, then he is, this, this article is said, acquired it and this person who, Ratan Tata, acquired a towering moral leadership in environment of deal making and ethical compromises for quick gains. So he was a person who was a moral leader. He never went for a shortcut. He never went for a wrong practices. He never compromised his ethics for quick gains. Okay. And because of this, he was... Uh, it was clearly his unwavering moral compass that distinguished him from his peers. There are other business groups as well. There are other business leaders as well. But he was distinguished or he was different from others because of his unwavering moral compass. Use these kind of words. Such words will make your answer more powerful. These keywords are, these are the punching keywords, powerful keywords. Because unwavering moral compass he was always able to navigate all the kind of dilemmas and crisis he never gave up he never adopted a shortcut he never compromised his ethics and values his morality for quick gains this is what this article is talking about this is this keyword should be there in you not only this the article is also talking about other principles which he believed in he's saying that his willingness to fight for a principle led him to take on Mamta Banerjee in Singur, nor did he flinch from moving the Supreme Court to protect his privacy and to vindicate a constitutional fundamental in uh, Neera Radia case. So basically Neera Radia was a lobbyist and there was a Neera Radia tape case and CBI case was going on. So Tata, uh, Ratan Tata was also, his name also came up that how uh, this lobbyist is involved with uh, Ratan Tata and uh, 2G Spectrum and other cases are going. So there was some case. But he fought and he, he believed in the constitutional values. He believed uh, in his right to privacy. And he even went to Supreme Court to fight for his rights. This is his life this person who has written article he told that uh, when cyrus mystery case happened cyrus mystery uh, was the successor of uh, uh, ratan tata as a leader uh, in the of the whole group so some issue happened and cyrus mystery has to come out 
So this person asked that time that uh, what about Cyrus Mistri? What has happened? That time Ratan Tata didn't say anything. So he is telling that Ratan Tata shows silence in the characteristic show of resist, uh, restraint and on his account of his instinctive preferences not to say anything negative about a person. When this person asked about Cyrus Mistri, whatever has happened, the issue has happened, what is your opinion? Rather, at that time, Ratan Tata chose to be silent rather than saying any negative comment upon that particular person, Cyrus Mistri. That reflects his personality. Okay? He never succumbed to the temptation of compromising his ethical standards of for business gains. This was the ethical leadership. Because of this, Tata is what Tata is. Then we have already come across the stories that how it, during COVID time, he gave almost 1,500 crores donated out of his 9,000 some 9,000 crore property, 15,000 or 1,500 crores, 2,000 crore he has donated for charity. That shows ethical leadership. That shows his approach towards social responsibility. This is called ethical leadership. From here, we are getting that what was his opinion with respect to the work culture, his values. Right? So this is how you should use analyze any particular leader which you are talking about. Sometimes in UPSC, there can be a question. Who is your favorite business leader and why? Then you will give these points and you will talk about because the question will ask why. It means you need to justify, you need to substantiate your opinion that, okay, if Ratan Tata is my favorite, then why is your favorite? Or the question can be in today's world, corporate governance or uh, the corporate houses are having a lot of wrong practices. What should be done? So even if you are not writing Ratan Tata, you will write the principles which we have discussed. Then you will talk about as a case study that, okay, like Ratan Tata, the ethical leader should, be, should have these qualities. So there are multiple ways to use one particular thing. It totally depends upon the question that what kind of question can come in the exam. If the question is on a person, you write. If the question is what kind of question, let's say there is a case study that, okay, you are installing a plant, industry, then what will be the core values of your industry? Take the help of Ratan Tata. Are you understanding? So this is about ethics in action, current affairs linkage.